see the price of those coming across the border is far higher than anyone can even realize right now, and far higher than feeble Joe Biden and his lying lieutenants will admit. For example, already in 2022, 78 people on the FBI's terror watch list have been arrested trying to illegally enter this country. That is three times more than the last five years combined. Let me say that again. 78 is three times higher than the 26 members on the terror watch list arrested from 2017 through 2021, a five-year period, three times higher. And those that are paying with their lives, well, those stories can be found all over America, too. It's sad. And Joe Biden and his team of social justice warriors just don't care one bit about the justice for Americans that are killed and their families that are left to clean up the aftermath of his border crisis. And finally, Republicans are speaking up for them. Take this new ad by Governor DeSantis, for instance. Listen to this. When our middle son, Brandon, left to go to work, he was only 21 years old. And the last words I said to him is, I love you. And a twice deported illegal ran into him and hit him so hard that he caused Brandon's car to flip and he killed him. My child's killed by someone who should not have been here. This is what happens when we have open borders. We were able to go and meet with Governor DeSantis. He said, I want to hear your son's story and to see the compassion in his eyes. And I saw the concern. He wanted to make sure other lives were protected. And as a governor, he truly has been upholding the oath that he took, which is to protect Floridians. He not only talks a good talk, but he walks it. He's been very strong on safety. He's been very strong on law and order. He has made our state one of the safest states to be in. There's no greater leader than Governor DeSantis because he didn't just listen. He put action behind it. Yeah, he put action behind it. Another similar and sad story played out over the weekend in Colorado. You see, a 24-year-old sheriff's deputy in Colorado, Alexis Hynutz, was on her way to work when an illegal alien driving drunk slammed into her car and killed her on the spot. The suspect had been deported twice before, but was back in the country, no problem. Of course, none of the papers put the fact the man was an illegal alien in their headlines, and most of them missed that he was already wanted for a previous DUI that he never appeared in court for. The man's a criminal and a killer. Yeah, the open border is a real blessing, huh? To that family, certainly. And when the press yelled out questions of President Biden earlier this week, he said, they just don't understand what he's dealing with. You see, the open border, according to his addled brain, is somehow different. Because many of those leading the invasion over the border are from different countries. As if that makes any sense or any difference at all. Listen to this. On the border, why is the border more overwhelmed under your watch, Mr. President? Because there are three countries that are never have There are fewer, there are fewer immigrants coming from Central America from Mexico. This is a totally different circumstance. What's on my watch now is Venezuela, Cuba, and Nicaragua. And the ability to send them back to those states is not rational. More than 200,000 came over the border just last month. He's saying it's from just those three countries. Please. He is right about one thing, however. Things are different now because we have never seen a border so completely wide open and out of control as we have since helpless Joe Biden and his cast of socialists invaded the West Wing. They want this to happen. They're making this happen. They're allowing this to happen. This is what they are doing, and everyone knows it.